Okay, it is 5.30. I want to call the meeting to order. Uh, I'll start out with roll call. Uh, Alderperson Heidemann. Alderman, I'm in here. <laughs> Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Ramey. I am here. Alderperson Decker is here. We will start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I think we will do introductions since we have quite a few guests here today. Uh, I'm Dean Decker, uh, older person from District 6, and the chairperson of the committee. Uh, Alderman Heidemann, District 10, Southside. Uh, Amanda Salazar, District 3. Alder Ross, uh, or Zach Ross, uh, <laughs> District 8, Vice Chair. And I'm Angela Ramey, I'm District 5, Alder Person. Liz Majerus, Legal. I'm Isabel Miller. I'm with Glacier Lakes Conservancy. Paul Lambert, pickleball player. <laughs> Tracy Burnett, private citizen. Joel Cole, CDPW. Lucas Burke, private citizen. Uh, Ryan Sazma, DPW. Heather Burke, business manager. David Beeble, director of public works. Okay. Uh, we'll go to number five, approval of minutes from October 14, 2023. I move to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any uh, discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. Those are approved. Okay. Let's start out with number six, RO number 6623-24, submitting a request from Paul Romer for approval to allow us to hunt wildlife within the city limits. Director. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, the, the city recently. As you may recall, the Common Council annexed this property. It was formerly in the town of Wilson. Uh, it was formerly owned by the Romer family, uh, purchased by the Berkey Company, uh, and held by them for several years. They've allowed him to continue to farm and remain on, on the farm homestead on, on this parcel. He is asking basically to continue to allow hunting as he has for several years prior to this annexation. Um, it is private property. Uh, there is hunting allowed within the city corporate limits, provided that it meets certain setback requirements and the land is, you know, of appropriate size, which this diagram is displayed this evening for your behalf. The, the larger area is for what would can be considered uh, bow hunting. And in the inner area would be for any gun hunting, such as shotguns for, for geese and, and ducks for, for migratory hunting in that area. As I said, it's been hunted uh, for several years prior to this. Now that it's just in the city, they're just asking for clarification and permission, which they have um, provided that they're within the setback area. Uh, so. Our, our current, um... Ordinance allows for it anyways. Yes. So basically, this is he's just, he's this just again, confirming this or? Well, he was, they were, they weren't under, they just wanted to, they weren't really sure if you could hunt in the city or not. Okay. We don't allow hunting on city property. Yes. Um, that is owned by the city and it's a private property interest. So, I mean, it does just because um, it's a large enough area to be hunted, the private property owner could deny it if okay. so, if they desire. So it's, it, it, again, they have a relationship with the Berkey company for, for years that they've been using it. So, um, thank you, Chairman. Is it posted in any way? Is it posted? Posted no. in any way? Yeah. No. no. What does that mean? Well, it, it, no trespass. I uh, can't hunt here. Mm. Uh, must uh, notify the owner uh, when you go out <laughs> in the country. You can see these signs where. Because uh, I know my mom's property is, is that way. You got to right. contact a family member before, right. before you can go on it. It's private property right now. So it's, and it's not posted. It's not like public lands or anything like that where you can DNR or anything like that or it's under control. I didn't see anything in terms of proper or from where uh, our area, for instance, there may be something along South Business Drive where the, where the, where the homestead is. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I, I didn't see anything. Other questions? This is the proper 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think that this type of request needed to go to the committee. I think staff could can explain to Mr. Rahmer the regulations and point him in the direction of the ordinance. He need only get written permission from the property owner and abide by the setback requirements, as David mentioned. And so um, just I would just offer file. this. Yeah, the committee could file this, and somebody from DPW could just give him some, some clarification. Okay. Okay. I'm, I move to file. Second. Motion made and seconded to file. Any other discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair will sign. Disapproved. File. Okay, number seven, 8723. Resolution 8723 resolution authorizing first city officials to enter into a contract with the Pine and Peterson Construction Company for the construction of the Kiwanis Park Pickleball Courts, authorizing a budget amendment. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to defer to the city engineer, Mr. Okay. Brian Sassman, on this. Okay. Okay. Yep, several months ago, we, the city, uh, the Department of Public Works designed um, some football courts, and we have, we, uh, we do some block grant money from the planning department. So our staff designed the pickleball courts, and we bid them out, and everything came within budget. And we found the best spot to put these pickleball courts, six of them, is right in this area, right, six, right in here. Yeah, six of them. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty standard enough? size. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably not, but we the way I, I don't have the drawing up here, but the way the way we got them laid out, it'll be easy to expand to the east, to add more onto it. Just take it up. But uh, yeah, we get a huge, huge, huge request for pickleball courts. We got the three at Vol Rath. I know there's some some where courts are more, but pickleball courts are better because the fences are nice and tight. You're not chasing that darn ball so much. So, um, so, so these will, these are these are these, these are going to be a big hit. Play a nice game of pickleball. I go yep. and have a refreshment afterwards. Mm -hmm. Can't be, can't be beat. <laughs> I know Joe. I know Joe Curlin did a lot of research for other, with other city in Hamilton. What, what type of fit in this with the dollar amount that we had, and that's kind of what they suggested: a six courts with a, with a corridor in between, so people can rest. And we could put some furniture in there, like some canopy stuff, picnic tables. Right. Thank you, Joe. Yep. Okay. Um, how does that ball diamond at all, or that doesn't? Is there a ball diamond right over there? Uh, or that one doesn't get used anyway. It's it's correct. It's really uh, obsolete. It does. They haven't played on it for several years. This is an old photo. In fact, if you, it's pretty much all grass now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This past summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not much. Yeah, right. It's not much in the field anymore. And the way these pickleball courts are kind of set back a little bit here, so we can always put a parking lot up here. But we'll hopefully they can start building these things like in March, April, be used by June first, and. This, I think next year people can just park on the street. There's enough parking on 17th and Kawhi, but we do have a parking lot laid out, so we'll do that down the road if needed. It's gonna be a nice facility. One other question. Okay, so you're gonna have six six courts there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the city, we don't we don't book courts through DPW. Who where do you get is first come, first serve? Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Uh, there's no guarantee, like I said, because if you had facilities that, that had leagues that wanted to go down there. They want to make sure that they have it at a certain time, right? Correct. So, is there anything in place that says it's sort of like renting the baseball diamond? Right. I mean, so, I mean, if if and when if there's official leagues in that, then there would have to be you know some type of an agreement. We would work through our parks and our, our forestry office along with the business office to structure an agreement for certain reserve reserve times. In other words, for leagues. Okay, so it doesn't go into the rec. rec well, we we work. With the rec department, on, if there, if it's a rec department sponsored program, okay. we work with the rec department. But if it's a private organization or a club, they work directly with our our office. Okay. And it would be like a rec. Right. right. And we we'd, we'd set up probably an agreement and, and figure something out yeah. with that. Again, we it's it's great that that there's those opportunities, but we don't want those opportunities to overtake just the public good and having an opportunity for just the public to recreate and enjoy it on their own. Yeah. 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 Paul Roth is that way, Joe. First come, first serve. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. My, That's a quick my question. question. My oh. question was Joe's question. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I met with Dave uh, and we went through an awful lot of fine tuning on the courts themselves. Some things that uh, 
we particularly felt would be good for um, playing purposes, not interfering with another court, as well as safety purposes. And I'm just wondering if any of those were incorporated into the plan and what is the final plan? Will we be having totally in, enclosed uh, courts or are we leaving some of them open? What kind of fencing are we going to have? There's going to be fencing between between the courts, correct? For, for you know, for 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 the length of the court. But if you want to go from court one, you don't you don't need to walk outside to go around. It's like each court's not going to be fenced off tight. That makes sense at all? It will. It will not be. It will not be. So there will not be a gate in each court, in spe each specific court in order to enter that court. Right, right. You'll have to go into another right. gate and then go through the other courts to get to whichever one you're going to. Yes, I think the best thing to do is if you want to stop in tomorrow, I'll be more than happy to show you the plan set. And yeah, because we had design. changed, we had mm -hmm. specifically, I had made the suggestion mm -hmm. of maybe lowering the fencing if, if need be to cut down the cost, but also putting in individual gates at each court. Yeah, no, we have we have four foot fences between each court, but it doesn't go from end to end. I does it go just from just uh, one end to possibly the other end of the court, the length of the court. The length of court, except for one end, is going to be open. Just one end. Will no, be both open. ends. Both ends will be open. Why is the Why is that? Well, I see. There's, there's so many different ways that to lay out these pickleball courts. Obviously, the court sizes don't change, but there's different. Like we're just talking right now, there's so many different ways. And I know, like I said, we did a lot of research talking to other other communities, and that's that's where they kind of built these. But if you could stop in tomorrow, we'd be more than happy. Yeah, well, where can I come? Come, come down here. Come down here. Yeah. yeah, I would like to see the final plan. Just pick a time. Well, before you leave, I'll give you my card. I'll, okay, make, sure, great. I'll make sure I'm here. We need to see it. I have a couple meetings tomorrow. Is it attached in the? Um, no, I no, I did not attach the drawings in okay. there. I had the, we had the contract mm -hmm. there. We don't have the drawings. I'll be more than happy I, I to email them to everybody. That's mine. Okay. Well, you you should see it. <laughs> we weren't happy to email. Them, yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, it's, it's a plan set. Oh, it's yours. Is it yours? Fine. Okay. Well, then, okay, well, we well both of you should see it. It's, it's, kind of <laughs> it's a plan set of like 20, 25 sheets, but you're only interested in one or two. But, of yeah, we just want to see the layout. Right. I, I am full in support of the courts mm -hmm. if it's needed and there's use from it from our constituents. I do have weird feelings about adding a parking lot to green space. Yeah, we did. So That's what, right. if you could not do that. Right. And, and and use the street parking and folks would just have to walk mm -hmm. like they're doing a Volrath. Mm -hmm. That feels yep. really great. I yep. would hate to lose green space to a cement parking space. Right, right. No, I, I agree. There's more than enough room out there to put this. There is more than day. enough room. I actually feel like right. it's a, probably a lot safer than it is at Volrath because it can be quite zippy there. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. But we just we just gave room for it. Who knows down the road? You wouldn't, we didn't want to put a tight against the road because yeah. you are kind of tied in a little yeah. bit. I hear you. I yeah. just I just. Yeah, we don't have a lot of green space, so. And there was just enough money for six quarts of hockey. Yes, yes, we had a, we had a budget to go by here, and that's that's exactly what we did. We we built the, the same individuals that designed them at Volrath did that several years ago, so we had some pretty tight numbers on okay. like, what stuff would cost. We came within I think eight thousand dollars of our estimate out of oh, wow. three hundred fifteen thousand, so it was, it was a tight number. But you yeah, think eight means... would be filled. Excuse me. You think eight would be used? Oh, definitely. There's a whole market for this, I didn't know. We, we could fill 12 courts. There are a minimum of 300 people that are playing in Sheboygan in this yeah. area. So so folks are playing, they have, now have these six courts, and how many are Volrath? Just three. Just three, so that brings you to nine. Well, when I say just three, I'm talking about three um, dedicated pickleball courts. There are other pickleball courts in the area in Sheboygan County, mm -hmm. but there are painted lines on tennis courts. Yeah. So we share them with the tennis people. Got it. And so what we're looking for now is dedicated pickleball courts. Give the tennis people back their courts. Mm -hmm. Give us dedicated pickleball courts so that we can play there. And we have a club that plays six, seven days a week. Wow. Yeah. We're playing all the time. You'll be adding out of these down the road. Yeah, I mean, I gotta try this. Or five years I gotta try pickleball. Have you ever played it? Oh well, I'm warning you. If you try it, it's addictive. Okay, well, I, need, I guess I need a hobby. <laughs> Good news is it's not expensive. Yeah, okay, it's a cheap right. sport. <laughs> that's, that's, I can see why 300 people play it. Are there courts um, inside Uptown Social too? Yeah, um, they are going to put. They're uh, putting them in the yeah, gym. In the gym, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was great. like, yeah. Emily should. Right be now, there. indoors we have. Um, both of the Ys, Sheboygan okay. Y and Sheboygan Falls and Berkshire in Sheboygan Falls. Okay. That's how, yes, and the Sheboygan Y. So that's where we're playing indoors now. And then there's some other 
areas around in other parts of Sheboygan County where they're playing inside, like at a church. Oh. Or other or grammar schools or something like that. Down yeah. yeah. We do play year round. Yeah. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to play, it's dangerous. You, well, let's go one on one. I'm paying for tickets. I know. We're going to raise money for the two other courts, you and I. It's funny because people, when they know I can't play. That's I've, I've the never, there's where the danger is. I've never played. Is. Um, yeah, well, just... yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, I, I move to approve the resolution. Second. Okay. We've made and seconded. Any other discussion of it? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair holds high. That is approved. <laughs> Call the board. I will do okay. I'm, I'm rolling all day. Great. Okay, number eight, resolution number 91 resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Premier Excavation LLC for the construction of the Butch and and authorization amendment. Again, I think Again, we'll have Ryan in this discussion. Okay, good. So, well, this is the, uh, the Butson property. I don't know if everyone's familiar with that at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, was it three, four years ago we built a bunch of soccer fields on here? Yeah, we, we yeah. created we created a site. It's about 13 acres. That of, of there's there's 55 acres from here to here. That is the Butson. We created basically 13 acres and seeded it and, and, and are prepping for fields. They're coming along very nicely. In fact, I think that the, the plan is to have some of the, what they call the academy or the younger soccer players would play there in spring um, on the north section. And then on the top fields, they have, after uh, spring, summer girl again, they may start some of the more uh, middle school and maybe high school level uh, kids that play soccer to play in those upper upper fields, it, it will be it will be ready by then. In order for them to use it, though, they they really can't park on the grass. So this this project basically would be putting in a parking lot right. in in the front of the complex here. Um, you've already have a retention pond in. Uh, the homes have been raised. The only two structures that remain are the two what I would say nicer. On barns okay. and they're used for storage and, and equipment and such. So, I think the other thing, Ryan, I think that besides the parking, it will, it will also we're stubbing in water and sewer for future restroom okay. concession yep. building. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that we want to get that in as part of this project, so we're not having to go through a parking lot, get it in prior to the parking mm -hmm. lot. Okay. And that's so it's like that. Sorry, it, took, it took a couple of years to get some decent turf out there, but it's there now. Yeah. So that's why it makes sense to build the parking lot. And this, like pickleball courts, there is a lack of soccer fields out there. And these are city owned, so we have uh, control, I guess, over them. So that's, that's great. And how many fields are there? Well, well, there's, with the 13 acres, there's up to four high school level soccer fields. Three would be on the upper part. The lower part would also have like youth fields within there. So. The, when you have a full-size high school, you can go sideways and get two smaller fields on mm -hmm. on that same high school field. So they'll rotate fields, but it's it's probably four large-scale high school level fields, and then within there you can probably fit about eight, for sure, maybe ten. What I would say, youth fields within that area too. Sorry, another question: How much parking are we looking at? This this lot would be right around two fifty. Yeah, right about two fifty. And again, all this, all this, all this was designed in house by by the by the DPW staff, engineering staff. None of this, we need to know consultants. None of this kind of stuff. Chairman, um, so how does this affect uh, when I have to went over to a Horace Mann? How does does that alleviate Horace Mann's congestion? Is it are these people already de designated to come to this field as opposed to do, doing? I, they'll use both. They'll use both. Okay. And, and, and part of it is, is my understanding, is that it will give some relief to some of the fields. And because of natural grass, they get right. pounded and pounded. So they'll be able to rotate some of the play and practices so that they're not 
using the same field night after night after night and it doesn't recover and the grass doesn't have an opportunity to grow the turf. Okay, and this is all in connection with uh, Lakeshore Soccer? Or, uh, right. Okay, and does the rec department have anything to do with that well, too? Yes, that, the, the rec that... department is, it, it's kind of, there's a partnership with the youth soccer rec program and Lakeshore United in, in terms of a collaboration and providing. They have the rec level soccer, as well as a select more of a more of a premier club level so but they manage both of those programs gotcha. yeah. but our local high school mm -hmm. high school won't be playing there they could practice if okay. they so desire but they also they play mainly their games at horseman on the right. turf field yeah yeah okay yeah. any other questions discussion okay I'm looking for motion i move to Adopt the resolution. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That, that is approved. All right. This is November 8th, 2023. Thank you. Looking for a motion to adjourn. I'm going to adjourn. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Woo.